Hey everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking you through lists in HTML. List plays a vital role in organizing the data in a web page. In this video, we'll go through the syntax and working of the list tag in HTML. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Lists are used to group related pieces of information so that they are evidently associated with each other and easy to read. Of course, it makes a web page easier to read for the user, right? There are three different types of lists present in HTML, the ordered list, unordered list, and the definition list. We'll discuss each of these lists in detail. So now that we have a basic idea of what lists are, let's move on to the programming part directly. The ordered list is the first list we have in HTML. It uses different schemes of numbers to list our items. The OL tag is used to create an ordered list in HTML. So an ordered list uses numbers or some sort of notation that indicates a series of items. An ordered list can start with numbers like 1 and continue through 2, 3, 4 and so on. It can also start with alphabets like A, B and continues through C, D and so on. Roman numerals can also be used in ordered lists. So let's create one list over here first and you guys will get a better understanding of the ordered list in HTML. The syntax goes like this. We'll write here inside the body tag. We'll write OL. OL stands for ordered list. To add items to a list, we have to use the LI tag. LI stands for list items. So this is the LI tag. Anything we'll write inside this particular LI tag will be added as a list item to that particular list. Fine. We have to put each list item inside this particular tag in order to add it to the list. So let's add something to this list first. What we'll do is we'll write inside here, let's say apple. Fine. Then we'll add another item over here. So let's say we have mango. Let's add some more items and we have banana. And lastly, let's say we have orange. Fine. So we have four fruits here. We, we are including them in a list. Now save the program. And you can see here we have a list present over here in the browser. This list over here has numbers, right? It has 1, 2, 3 and 4. We can change them to alphabets or Roman numerals. For that, we have to use the type attribute within the OL tag. So what we have to do is we have to go here and we have to write here type. Press enter and if you are using VS Code, you can see the types of ordered list. We can write here 1. We can write a capital A. Capital A is used for uppercase letters. We can write a small a for lowercase letters. We can write here capital I for uppercase numerals. Then we can write here small i for lowercase numerals. So let's write here small i first. And you can see the list is changed. There are lowercase numerals now which starts from 1, 2, 3 and 4. We can use here capital I as well for uppercase numerals. Similarly, we can use capital A for uppercase alphabets and small a for lowercase alphabets. You guys can see it here, right? We can also specify the starting point in an ordered list and for that we have to use the start attribute. We don't have to do much. We have to write here start and we have to write here any number. Let's say we are using lowercase alphabets, right? So if we write here 5, now the fifth alphabet is E. The list will start with E now. Save the program and you can see the list starts with E, F, G and H. Right. One thing to keep in mind while using the start attribute is this attribute works with numeric values only. So I hope you guys must have got an idea about the ordered list in HTML. Moving ahead, let's discuss the unordered list now. An unordered list typically is a bulleted list of items. It is basically a collection of related items with no special order or sequence. Fine. So let's create one unordered list here as well. 
the ul tag creates an unordered list in html we'll write here ul ul stands for unordered list and now we have to include list items fine the li tag will be used for that we have to write here li let's add some items over here so let's write the name of some vegetables now so let's say we are writing over here potato then we have let's say carrot and then we have let's say cabbage these all are vegetable names so let's say we are adding one more here let's say it is reddish fine that's it save the program and you can see we have another list over here this type of list in html is known as unordered list you can see these bullets over here in front of each list item right we can change the type here as well with the help of type attribute for an unordered list, the type attribute can have three different types, square, circle, or disk. The default one we have here in this particular list is the disk. So if we write here inside the ul tag type, and if we specify here the type as let's say circle, save the program, and you can see it over here. We have circles over here now, right? Similarly, we can use squares as well. So if we write here square, save the program and you can see it changed to square. So the last type of list we are left with is the definition list in HTML. A description list or a definition list is a list of terms with a description of each term. In a definition list, entries are listed like a dictionary or encyclopedia. If it sounds a bit confusing, then let's create one here and you guys will understand. So the DL tag is used to define a definition list in HTML. The list item tag is not used within the definition list. Instead, we use two different tags. Here. The DT tag is used for the term and the DD tag is used for the definition. Fine. For example, if we create one list over here. So firstly, what we have to do is we have to define the list. So for that, we have the DL tag for definition list now inside here we have to mention the term so let's say the first term we have is html and for the definition of html we have to use the dd tag fine so let's say html stands for hypertext markup language fine okay let's add another item over here so let's say the second term we have is css Okay, CSS will write over here then we'll write inside the definition let's say CSS stands for cascading style sheet fine save the program and you can see here we have another list present in the browser which defines the terms HTML and CSS we can add as many items as we want in these type of lists we can add more than one or we can just add one item it totally depends on us so i hope you guys must have understood what lists are in html by now try it by yourself and let us know what you learned so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we'll go through text links in html if you enjoyed watching this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply cool thank you